All right, it's Ansel. You're still hanging out with us right here on Why in the Morning. The segment is uh, MCM. And like we always say, you can continue to engage with us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. Is that Y254 channel? And on Instagram is Y254 underscore channel. And you can find me at Brian Sako 101. That's on my social media platforms. And on Facebook is at Brian Sako. And Tulukotumeku Liza Suali Pale Katika Mitandawe Kijami as well. So that we'll be reading your feedback to us the tail end of this show right here. Uh, there's a question we posted right there. I hope it's also on Twitter as well. Nikitugani sahi, huwezi ogopa mahali life imekufikisha. Nikitugani sahizi, huwezi ogopa mahali life imekufikisha. With this economy, my friend, things are not as beautiful. And I remember yesterday in Kiangalia when uh, Zit, the deputy president, uh, uh, regarding the shagwa, alikuwa nasema, the economy is not a sweet story. So in life right now, Nikitugani Ayezi Kogo Pesha because when I look at the way things are moving from zero to one hundred, it's not a beautiful story as well. In the name of our deputy uh Rigabi Gashago. And that literally informs uh, the topic of discussion right here today to Nongele Kamamwanaume. How do you first live Head on. I don't know why exactly it happens. And I remember before uh, we exited the show with Ram, we were talking about should a man cry? Should a man, you know, how should a man deal with their pain or deal with their problems? Does it actually, does society give us a space to actually have room to actually, you know, shed some two, three tears, you know? If you can go like Ram had said, then it can work if it works for you then you can embrace it as well so i'll leave that assignment back at home for you do you feel as a man should you have room to actually it could be in public or in private as well because at the end of the day you're human and joining me right now on set are two powerful gentlemen one has been here before harlequin good morning thank you good morning for coming back again thank you and the one and only brian obaga my namesake as well yeah. You're also a tour operator, but I'll let you introduce yourselves uh, again. So introduce yourself and what you do as well, and then as we get to Brian. Oh, thank you so much. My name is Harley Quinn Otieno. I'm a JQuart second year student, uh, and I'm an online content creator. All right, yeah. content creator. Welcome. Okay, my name's uh, Brian Obaga. I pursued a diploma in tourism management in uh, uh, Eldoret. International Polytechnic. Now I'm a tour consultant, tour operator at Safari Updates. Wow, amazing. Tour operator, content creator. Mboyamon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope that's how you say it, Mboyamon, right? Do you Ab absolutely. You say Mboyamon yeah. in your language? Yeah. In you, it's Idinade. 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 Idinade, right. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming through. Now, guys, uh, actually, before we uh, get got back to this segment, uh, I and my co-host, Ram, we were talking about how, as a man, you know, just dealing with the generalities of life, kuna kongan obstacles mingi sana for the boy child. When it comes to even, you know, discovering yourself, how do you know that this is who I am? And again, I was looking at it from, you know, stemming it from a, a family perspective. Mm -hmm. Do men come from families where they have been nurtured as a man? Are you given an example as this is how you should follow, this is what you should follow? Am I even though Baba nafakwe, even though uh, mama na fakwe. Do you feel like in our lives, especially kwa African society, tunapewanga hiyo example na baba zetu na mama zetu ambayo inatueka to a space yambayo tuko so strong to deal with the life obstacles as well as many other struggles that come with life? Oh, according to me, you see, being a boy child or being a man in a family, things are really changing so fast. Because you find out in that time, my dad can sit with his son, tell him, son, I want you to do this, this, this and this. But then, even in the background that I grew, it was really rare for your dad to tell you that. Unless you went against the rules. Right. So you do something that is not supposed to be done, that's when you are told, this is bad, you need to do it this way. But in just normal circumstances, it's really hard for, for, for them to take you down, put you down, tell you this, this and this. So it's something that we just observe. A man should do this, should carry themselves in this particular manner. Right, so for you, you had to learn it. I had to learn it my own your way. Your own way, yeah. right. And I, I don't know why it's so common. Like every boy child has actually had to figure out a way of actually living and yeah. doing something for themselves in their own way. I'm not saying the girl child have been empowered more, but I feel like it's something that's so common. Now, uh, uh, Brian Obaga, thank you so much. 
do you feel like our, our parents actually give us enough examples of how you should conduct yourself as a man? This is how you face life struggles. Wakati ukipigwa na madeni uko uko shule ni nini situation ni mbaya? This is who you run to for help. Do you feel like even in your experience as well, umepata hiyo nurturing from your own dad as well? Okay, yeah. Uh, in my perspective, uh, you will find that uh, when you consider a lot of things, you will find that uh, we men, uh, we are uh, strong in nature. And uh, ladies, okay, ladies out here are weak in nature. So when uh, you observe, uh, like uh, in my career, that is uh, when you observe even to the nature, I want to to bring an illustration. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, you find like uh, when you go to the savannah, you'll find that now most of the people say that the lions are the king of the jungle. Uh -huh. And you find that uh, lions are so much territorial. Right. And now lionesses are the ones that hunt on behalf of the lion. Right. So you'll find that uh, men their work is just being territorial. I can't hear you. Uh -huh. They are just being territorial. And now, when it comes to women, they are just submissive. So right. we have to portray our character as men. Right. But now when it comes to learning how to take on life struggles, who gives you the example to do? Because let, let me take you to a certain therapy session I watched online. And, and uh, this is from Oprah Winfrey's best friend. She was counseling uh, an ex-NFL player. And uh, this guy is 39 years old. He has come from uh, a family where his dad never supported him. His mom actually never told him that the, the, the neighbor cross was your father. So this guy ended up dating her, her, his half-sister, not knowing that the person who was their neighbor was his dad and his dad had abandoned him. So this guy grew up in bitterness. He had no example of a father figure or a man figure. And the things he has had to go through throughout his career, including having problems with women, not knowing how to, you know, stay with a woman in the house, led to actually all his finances being exhausted. I can four baby mamas and he can't even sustain them. And he's a Hollywood celebrity. So in that therapy session, the, therapy was, the therapist was telling him that because your dad was not there in your life to actually, during your old childhood years, how many examples are you to maintain life as a man? Because the person who was supposed to give you the example, Ali could fail already. So you have to blame him. But now, how do you take responsibility as a man as well to create that example so that you use it for yourself? That was my question now. Okay, it's just uh, self-acceptance and cope up with life. Uh, regardless or regardful on uh, whoever you should uh, consider or observe to, you just have to do your things on your own way. As a right. Man. right. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Harlequin, yes. on UK Pali campus, situations in Azakwa are tricky, son. In the name of, in the name of uh, who, who is this uh, songster? I'm very the storyteller. Yeah. Situation in Azakwa tricky, Pali. Yeah. You need help. You need urgent help. And you know, sometimes when I get situations as a man where when I charge 5k urgently and your dad can't give you, your mom can't give you, who do you run to for help when things are falling down? <clears throat> okay, the, I can remember the other time we were here, talked about something like uh, sometimes it's really hard for family to come up to because of their situation maybe. But then we have people around you in Kampo, I suppose, your friends, you have... Uh, like, you don't want to close now. But then you'll find out that, okay, Taji help. There's just specific person that you'll always go to first. Personally, like, you can't be always up all the times. There's a time that you go down and things are really messy. But always, I do always have that one person, like, Nikiwa, Nikiwa Solo, he or she will be the person that I'll go to first. Then, because Ikosekana, sorry, Ikosekana will find another option. But then, focusing on Angalia, your background, you can't always, like, you know, you are the person when you, they still need help from. So, you can't just go, you tell them, I need this kind of, they'll be like, oh. Like, uh, I was telling you, my, uh, my mom can, can, send, can send you 200, and she'll be like, 
that that's too much <laughs> that's too much for her what? but you know this thing yeah. can only take me half a day or, right. or if so much just on, in one day so you just understand their situation they never got this experience so you're the one now to man up like you have to do it your own way because you say the story na dad and all that uh, your your family and all that not everything you'll be told because after all you have to survive samanga the strong survive if everybody was being given the platform and told you have to live this way you have to do this you have to do this then i think we'll be so much well off but right. then uh-huh. we need Which that which is a good thing as well it's a good thing off, right? it's, it's a good thing but then <laughs> i do feel sometimes you really need to struggle you know there are some people who are men because their situation forced them to be okay yeah that struggle forced them to be their nature is not just to be to take responsibility and all that but then ashafika pale and now they have to do this so it's not because they want to but it's because they were never given that that privilege all right so the best way is to man up and it's really also good to struggle your own way you you find a survival mechanism right excellent i love that now brian um okay. I, we have this conversation with ram and uh we were asking should a man cry in public can you are you allowed to do that in public or like i said take your time off go in private cry dust yourself up together and come back keep fanging okay basically in africa uh when a man cries publicly it shows weakness and uh but everybody has a weakness as well yeah jada so when, it's just you're hiding it but you okay. have it anyways yeah, yeah. Okay, so despite does it the make fact a difference crying in public or not crying? No, I should not encourage a man to cry in public. In public. Yeah. What if you are experiencing a death situation going on? Your mom is dead, your wife is dead. Should you just be strong and then when the, you've done buried him or her, you go back in private and now you can burst into a whole room of tears. Okay, there is a difference between crying and mourning. In mourning you still cry. Yeah but uh, now when you cry you make that loud voice. Okay. And uh, when you mourn tears just drop and uh, you make it silently. So that's a bit uh, You've not attended Louis Funerals my friend. I've attended <laughs> I, like uh, like it's it's it needs an award ceremony for crying. They even hire people to cry. So I don't agree though. But yes uh, true. true. Yeah. But now here in Africa when uh, you see uh, a man crying publicly and then uh, it shows a point of weakness. So the people depending on you should start questioning themselves. If uh-huh. at all now we are uh, depending on this person and he cries on publicly. Now where are we heading to? Right. So it is advice. Yes, we are human beings as men. So whenever we are frictioned by either or either way or either activity in this uh world that makes us to a point to cry so it is advice we just go in a silent place we weep then come back strongly right. and i love the fact that you borrowed my idea go back <laughs> in private cry dust yourself off come back and keep thugging yeah. now back to you halakon i don't know you are a content creator as well <laughs> would you some day one day do content about your most painful encounter and be like this one it broke me i didn't have anyone to support but look at me now right yeah yeah would you do that as well cuz still crying okay. still crying uh if suppose men were not to cry well, then i don't think god could have given us tears that is anyways why. jesus wept that's the <laughs> shortest <laughs> verse in the bible yeah. just in case you had no idea <laughs> so okay you see there are some people who are so emotional like when somebody cries beside them they start crying You said there are some people who depend uh, Brian said there are some people who depend on you. And when they see you crying they'll be like now what will I do? But then as a man everybody has a weakness or everybody has that point you are so like you're so down. Your soul can be so depressed and you can you have no control over that. But the moment you receive you have that and you see that you have people beside me Why don't you why don't you excuse yourself? Excuse yourself uh-huh. Yeah, you, you just go. Cuz me personally when I reach that point, I I just have to leave any place in Nico. So, it, have you cried at some point yourself? Yes. I have countless a times. A million times. A million, a million times, times, but then just in your own point. Cuz 
there sometimes you feel now I just need this. Oh no. Yeah. This meme that, uh, that is going around like um, uh, I just need my my zangu zinaniambia tu nilie like anataka pige nduru but venu ndio hakuna. You have to look for your venu. Right. Uh, yeah, don't don't know about you must you shout but at last sometimes kilio ni dawa though. Yeah, it it somehow relieve yeah. yourself, your soul. Because even when after Jesus swept is when he went to to deliver Lazarus. So sometimes you need that to to calm down your soul. Right. Yeah, it's really necessary. That's why we were given tears. Right. Ah, uh, Bran, have you cried yourself at some point in life? Absolutely. I'm all jelly come sir. You be like me, I'm a thug, nigga. I'm a thug as hell. Right. lazima. So you've cried, right? Absolutely. But in private. Yeah. Now uh, back uh, co situation yeah you have to acknowledge how you feel that's what they say for you to be your true and authentic self you must acknowledge how you feel sometimes mm-hmm. your emotions really matter and uh, like we, we we said with Ram I I told him the more you continue piling up unexpressed pain mm-hmm. and said feelings the more they keep on piling up now utakuta kuna wasi wako resentful towards you know ushesikia mtu wako abused amepitia through trauma maybe ali rap you let's live a long rap alikuwa too brutally treated maybe with their mom or it could be a stepfather or stepdad so they never had a platform to actually express how that hurt na hata jam bm to your story so una kute in life ana move alone akikuwa so angry and so sad to a point that in and our relationships now for us men how do you relieve yourself kwa let's say the worst thing that has ever happened to you in life maybe you lipoteza mtu acha tu achane hata na story ya kupoteza uliumizwa tu ulitritiwa vibaya uli grow up huko unapendwa nini nini it affect self esteem yako but when you look at the other side of the coin society inasema as a man you should always be polished hakuna ku show any signs of weaknesses but indeed your weaknesses will be there whether you like it or not how do you polish up yourself and come up with a masterpiece because there's pain in there there's emotions there's everything in your experience unaweza fanyaje ndio utoke kwa this fine man you know wanakuona tu pale uko fit but they don't know the story behind the profile okay according to me now uh, the first thing is acceptance right and you mentioned that somewhere right yeah mm-hmm. acceptance is it accepting or acknowledging it happened yeah you acknowledge it happened Uh-huh. And now okay to accept that when it reach at this point uh, you will find that okay we we do make mistake as a man yeah. uh, and and uh, we make mistake in order to learn uwezi okay. uwezi jifunza hii kitu ni mbaya kama uje experience right so at this point uh like in my scenario The thing that made me cry so much is uh this relationship thing. Boy 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 boy. Relationships <laughs> man no. You guys are crazy. Mkafanya my boys wana leo. Boy. Yeah. Okay, true true true. Uh-huh. So continue. It is like <clears throat> si relationship moja ama ingine. So you find on each and every relationship you at least have to learn something. Right. Yeah. You see. So as a man in order to cope up with that you have to learn you have, you have to accept yourself uh, this is what happened and uh, these are now my resolution henceforth all right let me throw it to you back halakun <laughs> okay in every there's this line i was saying in in every problem uh, what is important is the solution enye unapata after after this so number one by the music is, is a really good uh, it's a really good thing music really 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 a good thing it pleases the soul so my on from my point of view number one when i'm in distress or anything one thing i have to look for is my phone my playlist mimi nakuwa na playlist ya ya kujirelieve it's my own <laughs> triangle too so okay. i i have to start with that uh um, by the way on the, on a simple testimony there's a time I was so down I was facing a lot of stuff and now I went to sleep I couldn't sleep kutoka kutoka 10 hadi hadi 4 just listening to music and uh, I don't know what was happening I was not crying but I had tears 
I left. When it was house. happening to you in life? That's that's, that's, <laughs> that's sorry for another. Sorry episode. for another day. Stop. So, <laughs> kufika four. I was one music, one song. Uh-huh. Kutoka 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. I was just replaying the song. Kufika four, I left the house and walked around Juja, <laughs> Juja until six. So it reached a point that you just have to, you be alone, find your music. Yeah, I just I take a walk. It helped me relieve myself. All right. So just being alone and think of them. At least I'll 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 start thinking. Now this has happened. Now after this, what next? Right. But before that, I just have to 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 let loose myself. Yeah, I cry myself and listen to music a lot. Be alone. Yeah. You know, uh, what you're saying is not just common. Mm-hmm. Exactly to find him say manye. And as acknowledge, just say, eh, me manzeni liliya. I'm a kid with new music because you know, for us men, we are always taught to be strong. Mm-hmm. Who are polished manze. You are an example to this family. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, when it comes to parents, uh, I think I'll borrow it up from that story I told you. Uh, this guy grew up without a father. Mm-hmm. The father at all was cross, like he had one and one and so Ali grew up without a father and then I can hear bitterness here like he has never had a man uh, I'll say a father figure mm-hmm. or a manhood kind of a figure to actually show him that this is how you stay masculine mm-hmm. or this is how you stay feminine as well so you may grow up confused how do you hadi hata ku date ni nini you don't even know how to treat a woman as well na hizo vitu zote zimekuwa affect na hazitaenda until you solve them now if you come from such a background my brother, Brian, how do you tackle it and find yourself on a settled condo, on a wedding, on a cup, on a finger, on a ring? That scenario is very tough, but uh, as men, we have to be risk takers. Mm-hmm. Personally, you don't have the same. Okay. Okay, uki, uki risk you work, glory to God. Uki risk you fail. And then keep on keeping on. La vitu ziki fall apart, bro. Ushesikia like somebody, things fell apart. Yani from one failure to another failure, rejection to another, being kicked out to another. Adi umefika to a place, you have no one else to turn to, nobody to call, nobody to talk to. Ni wewe na God. Na ikienda uishe ni evil. And you're this man. Everybody is looking up to you. People have expectations and you still have to maintain. How do you even go forward, man? Okay, in this world, uh, we were brought alone. At the same time, we grow with friends. No, okay. So, whenever you are, you feel that now you are fixed to the corner, you just have to consult. Wezi ni ambu neza kosa marafiki moja, ama wawili wenye ni jenwe. Bro, kuna wasewa mekosa marafiki. Kula mtu, ujusikia mtu wakasema, eh, ni mekupigia manze juwata si trust, wasewa na kwa nao. I'm a piggy at this stranger. Mm-hmm. And it happens every day, even right now, as we speak. Haezi yata ambio ote wanajua, koza kiu ambio wata mjad. Now maybe it's something that's so shameful, it causes that guilt, and how taki mtu mgena ajui. Hadi umekosa kuambia, hadi unawana mseme nda church. Hadi yata a trust pastor kumambia hizo issues. Na lazima aishi, si yati yata end life yake. Lazima endele. What do you do now? You just keep on keeping on. <laughs> you keep on keeping on. Keep on. <coughs> what do you do, bro? Because uh, it's a dead end. Oh, in scenario where I wouldn't have a and all that. Maybe you now, but you don't trust them. Oh, by the way, uh, me, I know more than a, a thousand people like when you're not Joanna. You have 300 contacts on your phone, but you can't even call one. I have 1,500. Now the people when you know a call, I have to call 10. I can only imagine. <laughs> like, okay, to cause to up, we can talk, like, we talk a lot to cause up. But, Sasa, on a personal life, always if you can detain, like, there are even five or seven or four, that intimate relationship. So, you find out that you know a lot of people, but your friends are really, really small. Like, for example, the boys, uh, I know the boys, I know the boys, the boys don't have to pick a story, like uh, to 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 kunywe, to pick a share. We talk about the gym tomorrow. Right. Atom juju jina. Atom juju jina. But we can count them, catch up on my drinks, we yeah. can sample my dem, ni 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 ni. Ivo sasa. Adi atom go na contacts, we na onge. We na onge, we na onge. I like to join the gym. Atom juju jina. Because 
wala mimi is it because you are not socialized how to actually interact no. ama mimi naweza kuwa na madam ni rais utasikia hadi unaitana beb ni nini yeah, yeah. dia ni nini ni, but really BFF. will you find even <laughs> men calling each other they be like hey 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 like mimi naweza kana brian hapa bila right. mikumjua tupige story hadi 3 days mimi siwezi uliza mwanaume jina yake i can't like it's <laughs> just a notion so you know she didn't go nga nini literally okay. amani ko go patu ko vulnerable Uh, Cuz why should you talk to a stranger for a whole week? Not a stranger. Na party, na by the way, unaweza kuza hadi kuzi jua umekosa kujua jina yake. By the way, bro, by the way, kuna shida fulani hapa nataka unisaidie and all that. The bro will come through. Tuko tofauti na ladies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Atuniambie hey, by the way, ni sawa na kuelewa. Acha, acha tumeet pale fulani tuonge, tuone venye kutakuwa. Mnakuwa hivyo bro, Morio nini nini nini. And it happened. So I was saying, kuna tofauti really really big difference katika cha kujuana na kuwa marafiki na mtu. That relationship is the co difference. Jukujuana ni watu mnaongea hi hey uko aje niko fit nini nini mpige pige story one two. But then kupata that person mwenye anaza kuambia by the way we need to talk. Really 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 hard, very very hard. For men it's hard, isn't it? For real, for men it's hard. So you find a man should confess to a woman as well. La, la, let me ask you, let me throw it back to you before you finish. Uh, mm-hmm. should men seek female therapists or they should go to male therapists? If you if you have the dirtiest thing that ever ha- happened to you, mm-hmm. would you trust yourself to tell it to a man therapist or you go for a female therapist or whoever will be there? Okay, personally nikiwa na nikiwa na nikifeel niko 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 na shida fulani nini and i know myself kuna point i'll go to a man kuna point i'll go to a lady reason being a lady will some is somebody mwenye atelewa situation yako cuz me personally yes i can sympathize with you na nione venye naweza kusaidia lakini mimi sijoin ko empathize like kutaniambia na ndio by the way kitu kafi fani mkanyika nakumbe we mbaya like i don't know i don't know how to to go through it Okay. I can talk to you ni kwa advice but sasa somebody anakuambia ili ili empathize na yeye of which me I don't know. Mimi right. atakwambia you need this one I'll give it to you. Right. But I don't know how to empathize but a lady atakupatia that that motherly support. Right. Yeah, dapata. So when I right. need this I'll go to that. Just understand your um, sickness then know the best doctor to go to. Okay. Uh, that's how it's done. So just know what What Who to need? approach literally yes. or what makes you feel better what works for you because yeah. uh, I've had situation where somebody say eh me ready and the and the mbaba ama ni and the mama yeah, <laughs> like if it works for you then <laughs> it's, it's well it. and good if if that's the best thing for you yeah but yeah. first you need to know ili usimess like usimess yeah. usijue wewe umeenda kwa huyu kumbe umeenda kwa social media right yeah find somebody mwenye anajaku keep secret kidogo right Brian who would you go to Would you go to a man would you prefer telling your dirtiest secrets to a man therapist or a female therapist and why Uh I'll just like to concur with my friend here Eh uh, unajua shida nyoko nayo na unajua daktari ambao unaendea So when it comes to ladies you'll find that uh when you share a problem to her unapata how uko emotional mm-hmm. papo hapo and if she has capability of assisting you atakusaidia hapo well and good but now when you go to a man a man kuna vitu zingine huwa na ignore ni hiyo tu hiyo tu ah we bana amka bana piga aso lenda hivi na hivi but kuna wana umepewa wazuri wenye wana on a guide through at the same time they assist you right yeah mm-hmm. so in short whoever works whoever it whoever works. works yeah now uh come say manya na face rejection na to say mama apply my jobs and it's all on you you have to take care of yourself as well or maybe you're married and in your situation you said you are in a serious relationship and this chick is dependent on you as well so i don't know if if at all it's also right to have a chick who is dependent on you financially i don't know if it's a problem but to some people they said no me I have money i'll just give you take whatever you want baby girl but there's also who say eh mimi nikupe pesa tafuta zako and then we can bring something on the table okay. so i don't know if it's a problem though do you do you feel like it's a problem would you date a chick who is dependent on you financially yeah but uh it is very encouraging whereby you find someone who is who is very supportive Okay. Like a good example is uh mimi kipiga hustle. At the end of the day na yeye apiga hustle. 
wakati tunakaa kwa meza then tunasema hii ndo tuko na kila right? yeah so when you want to plan tuta plan hii na hivi maybe itahitaji mahitaji ya nyumbani na hii na hii let us treat for ourselves so right. it is good to have a supportive partner than, right. yeah than uh, someone who depend on you fully all right because that akwa nagging yeah. in other terms right now halequin uh msema yana face rejection na itabidi to you have to do it anyways mm -hmm. itabidi umefunga virago umerudi ushago like uh there's somebody who told me that umefika to a place that dad wa machine kum sustain amejaribu ku apply kazi hapati dem amemtoroka na unajua ikifika kwa hiyo situation yenye dem ameenda <laughs> umebaki peke yako na Mungu <laughs> hey, unaita you need an ambulance so she's scared they ring the alarm you need to ring that alarm because you need help serious help mm -hmm. how do you go about that okay let me take you back kidogo uh, personally mimi nime grow nikiwa na lot of trust issues This trust is trust. Hey, mm -hmm. this is trust to trust issues in a stem form. <laughs> is this something that was done to you? Uh, uh, as in I don't know kama an experience you had from your mom or your dad. Mimi nikitiko nani yango, mimi si trust them. But although I've been patia shida in a lot of relationship nimekuwa. So okay, yes, I can I can't trust someone. So I did a fika point, I lower my expectations. So number one, ili ukiwa na mtu you know personally mimi I don't have a stable job ama sina bado kazi mm -hmm. and I don't have an income yenye kofiti and you expect this lady kukuwa na wewe akona mahitaji yake yes pia ana kazi kama wewe anategemea mzazi wake and uh, you expect this person kukuwa na wewe besides na hadi hadi you don't even have a ring so you see like there's a point where we go wrong <laughs> like bro we need to lower your your, your expectations ladies okay. pia just lower your expectation on someone because after all we are only one being There's no one who is going to stay beside you forever. Mm -hmm. Add your parents, add your mama nakuwa na wewe 9 months then the umbilical cord inakatwa. Right. There's no point. But then nakumbuka kuna two only like the the the, the situation imekuwa na my mom pamoja like nuseme kwa function flani. Hazi zipita 5. Unaona? We can talk home like vitu zinatuunganisha pamoja tuseme for example tumeenda kwa ceremony flani all that. Like uko kwa world solo. What you do just Live to the moment kuna ubena waleza anasema live to the fullest like wei furahia maisha yako then ikifika point to raise your expectation so high that's where disappointments come let me interrupt you kuna mtu ana kitu chochote ya kufurahia as in hata haoni reason ya kufurahia maisha juu hata hana ile source ya kutoa inspiration aseme hey mimi na feel like hata kuishi peke yake is already a blessing has you on your cause you're so blinded by your situations to a point you can't even see any good thing happening you're so blinded Unless mtu akuja kuambia eh hey bro kuishi ni blessing kuwa hmm. live ni blessing haziona what do you do now okay oh uh, mimi nasema this point though 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 i'm young but like i've seen it all <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you're young and you've seen it <laughs> yes you know nasema i've been there countless times okay hiyo nafika point unasema nao hadi sio ni like now for what uh, uh, easy vitu nafanya ya nini I I I I point the cut of everything I can't go to class I can't do anything I'm I'm just there what I do is listen to music sleep and uh, all that cuz unajua like life is so sweet at times I don't know say I really need to live this life bro kuna time unafika ngo unasema why is death delaying oh no that, that that's some some people are experiencing that I don't wanna feel like there's no reason to live all right but then ukifika your point depressions inaanza ku naza ku come in mm -hmm. yeah depression ikuna washa kishash pale ukianza like of little minor <laughs> you're going <laughs> to do everything una bad kuna this guy alikuwa anasema tika uko juja na au stone unachoma <laughs> like wow, wow 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 <laughs> la bad life <laughs> okay so like uh, the will ngona sema you really need cl people close to you right beside the fact that by the me a kwanga introvert like in very extrovert na kwanga very social lakini ni bipolar bro ukikuje sasa mimi nakwambia si bipolar Whatever I, I don't know about but but the extrovert see by Paul that might okay mimi I'm a very social person but right. ukikuja kwa personal life yangu mimi ni mnakonga tu kwa nyumba unajua okay. mimi always always believe that because most unanyoka mm -hmm. kwa screen niko like mimi nikutoka yeah, nje naenda tu niko hapo rooftop na shoot ama niko chini huko I'm shooting besides okay. that mimi niko kwa nyumba yangu nakaa tu huko so like but besides that you really need people close to you 
somebody yenye unaweza mbia by the way unaweza pitia contact yako sometimes unapita unasema wallahi oh, sina mtu akupigia hadi moja yeah. so you really need that person aweza mwambia hadi kai is kusaidia but you know this person i can tell them yeah, this yeah the kasim za ziwako just tell them but they are stranger other kind of stranger there's a friend of mine alikona na mbe it's easier to seek help from a stranger di or confess mu ambie your dirtiest things hata ku judge mm. as compared to ambie close friends wako ni nini do you agree do you agree brian as well yeah I really agree. You'd prefer to even tell it to a stranger the craziest things you've ever done as compared to telling yeah. your dad, your mom, your siblings, your auntie, your cousin. Okay. They used to say that now blood is thicker than water. Yeah. Uh-huh. But currently or recently the the thickness is no more. Okay. So you prefer like okay, me na huyu tunaweza ka kwa nyumba atujuani lakini maisha inaweza songa unachapa ma drinks pale <laughs> eh na maisha inaweza songa Sana. bila kukosana mm. right. but mse mna juana relative yeah but uh, to ukienda kwa maybe the other gender maybe ladies ni ngumu sana wapate wameka pamoja mm. for a long period of time yeah. utapata simple mistake wamekosana wachanisha wana yeah. beef ku beef ka <laughs> like uh, as men mean kana huyu kwa kwa room moja maybe hata kama atoke nje apate socks kwa mlango apate maybe nyumba iko disorganized tutaka tu bado but hiyo in other gender it was piece of okay okay the other thing kuna meme way na trend that uh, nowadays kama hujafaulu hata relative wako mwenyewe hawezi shika phone call yako. True. Why is that so, so common by the way? Sawa, hawezi shika call. Wana kuona tu siku utaomoka. Sasa siku yenye utaomoka, no, at least wataanza kukusumbua. Flana flani mimi ndo nafikisha bwana. Uko hivi uko je? How are you? Wewe ni wetu. So, the like sasa wanaanza kukuclaim hapo. But before hakuna mtu alikuwa anakujali. Yeah. So, so for why... man for man it's like five times hard. Yeah. But you know they said the ladies are under 5 it's 10000 so i don't know do you think boy child work on support more especially kikuja kwa empowerment as compared to girl child because what wengi watasema eh hey, women do support you sana ni but i don't know just as we finish up three seconds bros you see your social media oh okay men and women like when you kona sema boys okay the last time nilikuwa hapa nilikuwa nakwambia 99% 0.9% of success zetu let me talk on myself it may depend on strangers Strangers. the people i know okay so in afkanga point uh, this this the, the gender why come in ngana pia na relationship ya mtu mtu na yeye and all that but me feel uh, the ladies wamepewa so more much priority. more priority yeah, support yes okay. ilikuwa ilikuwa the other way around because the ladies walikuwa wameachanishwa okay but they, they they started coming in hadi sasa waka waka overdo like ika, ikapita the okay, point yenye yeah. nafaa kufika So okay. I think everybody is coming in it's about the ladies ladies yes, ladies that is a boy child wanaumia like they are not being looked into that much uh, your social media cuz I'll, uh, I'll move to brand your social media as you exit oh my social media youtube at kenyan stick tales uh, instagram kenyan stick prints uh, tiktok kenyan stick prints or harley queen and facebook kenyan stick tales yeah brand your last sentiments do you feel like uh, men to not support enough amani kujikaza tu okay support yenye tunapata okay ladies have more support than us men okay uh, reason being sisi watoto wa kiume lazima tujitume eh, kila ambacho tumepata is not only mine but ours oh, right. reason being ni that si yangu si yangu ni yetu yeah. uh, there is a lot of people who are depending on us right. so tujitume right a social yeah. media sasa penye watu wanaweza kupata social media ni obageza Brian obageza Facebook and then uh, currently I'm marketing for Safari Africa updates travel uh, email ni info at safariupdate.co.ke web page ni www.safaricom ah safariupdate sorry.co.ke book your safari today and uh, appreciate the nature all right thank you so much uh, Harley Quinn content creator 
and uh, Brian Obaga, who is a tour guide or a tour operator. Thank you so much for your time, guys. I feel yes. like we should have a, an episode two of this conversation as well, because I don't know. I, I don't know, man. But yeah, let's keep let's keep talking. Thank you so much for your time and for coming through. And to Kot Makuliza, Swali Pala Social Media, we are coming back to read your feedback. Nikitu Gani Sahi, who is your Gopa Mahali life? Imekufikisha, okay? I definitely want to see your feedback. We are taking a break. When we come back with Rama Guko, we're sampling some of your feedback as we exit right here on Y254 TV.